Hello dear fans. How to create a radio wave. When teaching the basics of radio electronics or in the process of conducting scientific research, sometimes it becomes necessary to generate radio waves. To receive a radio wave, you need a continuous oscillator. In addition, it is required that the existence of these fluctuations is known far beyond the generating station. Let's consider a method of obtaining radio waves in laboratory conditions. Necessary Generator of Continuous Oscillations, Conductive Rods Instructions Step 1. Make the simplest device for obtaining electromagnetic oscillations by connecting an inductor, a capacitor, and a resistance, resistor, to the generator terminals. But for an electromagnetic wave to run from the generator, this is not enough. None of the elements of the described scheme is suitable for the role of a transmitting antenna, so it will have to be made as an independent element of the system. Step 2. To correct the situation, connect a capacitor of suitable capacity in parallel with the inductor. To tune the system to resonance, it is advisable to use a variable capacitor that makes the entire oscillatory circuit controllable. When the device is operating, the coil and the capacitor will exchange energy with each other, excess energy will be pumped between these elements and the source of energy entering the load will give only that amount of energy that turns into heat. Step 3. Make an antenna to receive radiation. The simplest antenna consists of two long and thin rods, and the optimal length of each of the rods should be equal to a quarter of the wavelength. Place the rods themselves along one straight line, and then connect a continuous oscillator to the antenna. Approximately the same antenna devices are often used not for transmission but for reception on televisions. Step 4. Experimentally select the size of the antenna rods so that no unnecessary load is created on the transmitter generator and the energy taken from it is radiated into space. In some cases, it is useful to connect an inductor in series with the antenna. This will compensate for the capacitance of the antenna wire. Step 5. To generate a radio wave in a strictly defined direction, make up an antenna from several conductors, choosing their length and relative position, and then supplying currents from the generating device to these conductors in the required phases. In this way, you can demonstrate the phenomenon of wave interference. It is not always necessary to connect all the conductors to the generator, it is enough to get the current in the conductor, which is in the magnetic field of the main antenna. Thanks for watching.